Hey guys, Rivers here with Tech Connect, and a lot of people have been asking about this widget right here in some of my other videos, and it's called Zuper Widget. Actually, this is Zuper Widget Pro, and it can be a lot of different ways. I made all of these from scratch, basically just using the Zuper Widget app. So, uh, just built it here. It's got you know date, time. You can put battery, weather. Um, a lot of different variables in there and you can just build them from scratch. I always like having a clock widget but they never look quite right. They always have things I don't want on there like a weather with a bunch of animations and things like that and I just want a big clock with all the information I need right there. So I've got clock, the date, and the day because I work night shift and sometimes I wake up and I just want to know what day it is. It's kind of crazy but that's how it is. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I make the widget. So it's again it's Zuper Widget Pro. I also installed this app called OpX which installs some fonts for Zuper Widget so it's right here. So I'm running Nova Launcher on here so that's why the widgets are laid out like this and we'll just go and add a nice big one right here. And this is how you make the widget from scratch. So we're gonna make it for an empty one. Uh, first we'll choose that background color, make it totally transparent, save it, uh, demo. You don't have to save it, but it'd recommend it. Okay, so here's where your main screen starts. You're gonna add layers. So you can add text, rich text, which gives you some more like variables, like it can input information and things like that. Uh, shapes, you can make um, bitmaps and things like that. Progress bars, there's so many different things. So mine's real basic, but it still took me about an hour or two to figure out exactly how I wanted it. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, you click the layer, and then there's where your positioning is. Um, for this text, we're gonna, we do already want it to be the clock, so that's right. So we want this text to be a different font. Here's a list of all the different fonts. There's some pretty cool ones in here, actually a lot of really cool looking ones. There's this guy, uh, that's not the one I want though. I want the one called uh, Ashi, I think it is. There it is. So I like that Ashi text. And we're gonna move this up just a little bit. So it's kinda in the top of the widget. In fact, let's make it even just a little bit bigger here. Let's go to 110. Okay. So you get that, oh yeah, and text. I, I like to name them because it gets confusing when you get a lot of layers, so we'll call this one clock. Add another layer. Now this time we're gonna add the rectangle, so that's that bar in the middle, and it's just basically a shape. So you can see a little dot right there, that's what it's starting as. We'll choose the color, we'll get that blue color. That's my favorite color, we'll go with that. And then, okay, width. We're gonna make it a lot wider. Probably in the round 250 or something like that. Oh, maybe 350, okay. There we go. And let's round the corners of it a little bit. So that rounds the corners, you can make it perfectly circular if you go any more, if you wanted to. I like that kind of 10 is a good middle of the road. Let's make it, um, let's make it a gradient. go so now we've got that bar oh and we got to title that bar gets confusing if you have a lot of layers if you don't title it and then you want to go back in and edit one and you're not sure you know which one you're editing so it's just easier to label them as you go this one we'll call date okay now this one this is probably the most confusing part for me and that was to uh, make the, f the formatting of the different options on the, on the date. So I'll show you that in just a second here. Let's go up to about 45 should be good. We'll move it. Make it black. Edit text manually. So this is how, the, how that makes it appear, these little symbols. Just delete that out. We want, first we want the month. So I want the whole month. I don't want a, a number. I want an actual month. I think it's that one. Now I want to put a comma there and a space. So it's going to always have that comma after the month and it's going to have a space. Now I want the date of the month. January 1st. And then another space and we want the year. There we go. January 1st, 2018. Happy New Year's, everyone. Let's change the font on this text now. Let's 
get something a little different. Let's see what that looks like. Black green. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's leave it there. And then the last one, now we just need to add the uh, day. So I like to have the actual day of the week so I know exactly what it is. You know, when we flip over, going past midnight and everything. Add this, update that, change the name to day. And then, oops, put that right down there in the middle. And then we are going to edit this text manually. Date, and we want the day, the long form, so it will be like Tuesday. There we go, day long. That's all we want right there. Good to go. Now we just need to bring that up bigger, a lot bigger. Okay, and then we're gonna change the font of that guy. The font for this one is called Good Times to get that curvy, well, there's a lot of different ones you could use, but we're gonna use, I think, Good Times, if I can find it. Like I said, there's a bunch of cool ones. So if you want something like that, that's kind of cool. So again, I use that app OpX, which installs more widgets for Zuper, and it also installs all these fonts. So you get about three times as many fonts when you install that, and it's free. So I'll link to it along with Zuper in the description down below. There it is. I'm gonna go a little bigger. <clears throat> and I wanna get it like a little drop shadow on there. So if you do this blur here, and then add a few, it'll, it'll get kind of like a 3D effect. So that's good. Now what I want to do also is go back to the bar. I want to make it a little wider so it like, so this can cover it up. So let's make it a little taller and we're going to scoot it down. Oh, I like that way that looks. Maybe we'll go even bigger. Yeah, that looks good. You know what we'll do? I'm going to put this on the very bottom so both of these overlap it. I think that will look really cool. Maybe we'll go a little wider still. Yeah. Okay, so the way it goes is this is the top and then this is the bottom. So if I were to move the bar here, if I was to move the bar here, it'd be on top of everything and you wouldn't see it anymore. So put that on top. Now I want to move the uh, I want to move the day up just a little bit so that it looks like it's oops. So that it looks like it's over the top of that bar. I'm gonna make that bar just a little smaller, but anyways, we get the idea. There we go. 60, and make it a teeny bit wider. Oops. There we go, we've got, oh, actually, one last thing. Let's add to the clock some uh, some shadow around the outside of it so that it looks, it like stands out a little more, makes it easier to see and kind of pops a little bit. So again, add some blur, go up to about seven, that makes a nice drop shadow. There we go, we are done. So now we'll go back, done. We just wanna make sure and save it. Go back and save. Call it demo. Save. And that is it. There's our new widget. I really like that uh, new text, that January text. I forgot what it was called, but that is awesome. So that is how to make a widget on Zipper Widget. Uh, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this and let me know what you want to see in the video description down below. And I'll have links to both Zuper Widget and this OpX in the description as well. Uh, Zuper Widget, this is the pro version which costs like a buck or two, but I think it's totally worth it considering the amount of use you'll get out of it. But there is a free version if you want to just try it out. And then also there's pre-made widgets from Zuper Widget that you can also buy in the App Store. And there are a lot of those ones with like circular clocks and meters and things like that, but you can actually make all of those in here. It's just that those guys have spent a lot of time to figure out how to make them. So if you want to sit down and spend the time, you can make a, a much more sophisticated widget than this guy for free, basically. And again, you can add in like bitmaps and things like that, um, weather widgets, and also you can link, link this so when you click it, instead of going in here, you can link it to tap to action, you could have it go to your weather or to your stopwatch or to your watch or to a time zone, some other some other time zone, things like that. So you could, I think you can have it go to any app. It's a really versatile widget, highly recommend it, worth every penny. Thanks for watching and as always, aloha.